What's going on, Wastelanders? Welcome to another episode of a tour showcase build. And my buddy Mark brought his PlayStation 4 over because he wanted to show off some incredible design skills. Um, not decor skills, that is to be sure. Uh, as you can tell, we are here at the Starlight Drive-In, and he's blocked this thing in with huge concrete walls. Uh, let's wander over this direction and take a look at his little diner, restaurant, bar. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never oh, Piper, it. shut up. All right, so we're going to take a look. Uh, you know, he's done a really, really good job. Shut up, Piper, my God. I know you're a reporter, so shut up and listen, huh? All right, he glitched all these floors in, and they look really, really sharp. And uh, we're going to come out here. Now, he used to have a big structure running along that wall, but ever since he built that big beast of a building right there, he tore down all that structure so he could make room for other stuff. Let's take a look at this, like, I don't know, what do we want to call it? I guess uh, we'll call it, like, oh, my point. God, these guys never shut up around here. We'll call it the Vendor Rotunda. There we go. Uh, and look at the roof work that he did there, glitching all those roofs in. Oh, hello, kitty. Uh, glitching, glitching all those roofs in had to have taken him at least 10 hours to do, but trouble. it is really, Easy really way. tight. My Great God, these assholes never shut up around here, Mark. God, there are a bunch of chatty Cathy's here over at Starlight Drive-In. But no, this is a beautiful rotunda, and we have ramen on the roof. You know, that's always a wonderful thing to have. You know, when I build a rotunda, I want my Brahmin on my roof of my rotunda. Uh, and he's got, like, almost all, it looks like, of the level 4 vendors, except here in the clinic. It just says clinic. Apparently he hasn't found the old Doc Anderson yet. Well, let's go take a look at this beautiful multi-story building here. It, the amount of hours that he has put in to make a round-ish building, and this is about as round as you can get um, using flat panels. He has done an incredible job, and just the amount of effort that it takes to... I mean, look at that roof. To glitch all those floors in so that they all are at the same level. That is a level of determination. Let's take a look in here real quick and look at his decor skills. Okay, let's go look at the balcony here, and he's done a great use of using these raider poles um, as supports for the balconies. I think that's a beautiful job. Got his wire all nicely, you know, tied in here, and man. You know, I have spent some serious time building some stuff, but I know that Mark has been focusing all of his time in this one settlement for like the last six weeks and then when he gets new stuff with the wasteland workshop and the D and automatron then he's got to rip out a bunch of shit because he's got new stuff to put in and so it's constantly a uh, a battle that we absolutely it frustrates us to death but we love it and uh, because it just means that we have that much more variety and I'm skipping all these rooms because, well, for the most part, you know, I mean, it's all going to be the same thing. He's got a bed in there pretty much in a balcony. But I did want to come look out this balcony to take a look at this roof of this rotunda. We may not be high enough, but you can see from there that that is an incredible amount of work to get that all in at the same height. All right, let's go back and uh, we will head upstairs. I think there's one more level up here. And then we'll go take a look outside. Yep, we've reached the top floor of this part of the building, that is. Whoa! All right, here we're going to get a really good shot of that roof. And you can see how tight those roof panels are. He's done such an incredible job. And then putting that fountain up at the top, I mean, it really, really kind of tops that whole thing off, quite literally. All right, let's go back downstairs, and uh, we will go take a look at his secret room that's up there all right i don't know is it his like slave room i don't know who are you keeping up there mark you got settlers up there all bound up and stuff no not mark no he's probably got some crazy display with a bunch of power armor and stuff like that that's mark true geekdom all right, so we're going to round over here. Matter of fact, before we go up to his place, let's go take a look at his power room. I know he's got it tucked back here behind the screen. 
And if he's anything like me, it's total overkill. Yep. Total over... What is that? One, two, three, four? Four fusion generators. 400 power. Okay, you've got maybe 50 light boxes up there to spell out Starlight, and you're running 400 power mark? What the hell, dude? That... Okay. Are you compensating for something? <laughs> All right. Oh, look. Oh, here's one yeah. of his settlers now. She's... Oh, are you ready? I'm, I'm here. Okay. No, honestly, let's take a look at this beautiful room again mark's done some great work doing curvature with the glitching of the floors and stuff like that and getting those rails in there like that is just beautiful yeah, see what did i tell you a bunch of power armor stations that's mark a nice use of the uh the concrete uh, rounded corners there to create little alcoves there that's a pretty cool idea there mark think you got enough lights up here i don't think so and look, is all those lights, and in the middle of the room, it's still dark. <laughs> all right, so he's got all of his stuff over there. It's all of his hidden treasures and all of his various power armor here. And, of course, the robot workstation. Damn, Mark. That's a lot of concrete stacks. And now that you got concrete floor, or wa regular walls instead of these big old concrete foundations, you're going to have to go back and redo all that, too. That's going to hurt. Now, Mark's hoping his game never corrupts because he's going to be highly upset. Yeah, no, these little alcoves that, that you created here, Mark, uh, for your power armor is pretty, pretty sweet. All right, let's go take a look at his private abode now, shall we? Got a nice little office living area here. All right. We'll come over. We'll, we'll breeze through here, but we'll come back here in a second. Okay. I'm. You're missing a few bobbleheads there, dude. Seriously. You've been slacking. Yeah, a little less building, a little more adventuring. Get you some more bobbleheads. All right, here's the infamous double glitch bed. That looks really good. I think you tied in the, uh, the footboards really well uh, for a cohesive design there. Uh, glitching them across each other. And using the couch as a headboard. Nice move. All right. Let's go back over to this office area here. I noticed he had some trash over in his trash can next to his desk. He's got a typewriter and a terminal. Yeah, right. Like, you work that much. Come on. All right, let's see what he's got in here. A dish rag and a couple empty bottles. Oh, he's been boozing up and had to clean up the spill. Good job, Mark. All right. Let's go take a look um, out here. You've got this big, massive balcony out here. And one lonely chair. That is one of the most comfortable chairs in the entire game, though. I will attest to that. Look at the floor. Wow, you've glitched all that in. That is just incredible. And again, there's the top of the the vendor rotunda. And then you kind of mimic that whole thing back up here again with this roof work. That is just... Damn it, Mark. That's a lot of work, brother. And to think you didn't want to share it with anyone. I had to, like, force you to come over here and bring your PS4 and, you know, make you sit down while I did a walk around around your place. Now, this looks really, really good. All right, let's duck back in here, and then we will go check out the back of the building. We'll get down from here. But I'm not seeing that settler that was waiting at the stairs. Hmm, where'd she go, Mark? What'd you do with her? I like the lighting under the stairs, too. Good job there. Is that the Tesla arms? That looked like the Tesla arms to me. That's why you keep that right there, because it's a badass piece of weaponry. Yeah, she's gone. She took off. She's like, oh, you got company. I'm out of here. All right. We'll begin the descent back down. You know, Mark did a really good job of closing this hole off. I feel very claustrophobic. All right, let's come squeeze back here past this back fence area. He's got, like, some guard thing going on. Let's go find out what that's about. Wait. What the hell? What the fuck is this? You got all this concrete and all this shit, and you got a big old hole back here? And one little guard station? Well, no wonder you have so many damn problems around... Well, oh my god, Mark. 
Jesus, you spend 50 hours building a building and then leave the back door open for the raiders? <laughs> nice job, dude. Try building the perimeter. No, this is a nice big area up here. You know, again, Mark, not one for decor. No, he's actually not finished yet. I tease him, I give him a hard time. But uh, he certainly has not finished this. But, um, but I did want to share it with all of you guys. Um, you know, I had no hand in this. Now, obviously, you know, Mark says that he's gotten inspiration from a few different YouTubers, uh, including myself and uh, No Respawns and The Mad Queen Show. Uh, some of their elements can definitely be seen here in his building techniques. And, but it's great to see another, um, another perspective, another different build, how, how they've taken one idea and turned it and made it into their own. And I think that this is a beautiful uh, way to do that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Wastelanders, uh, that's going to do it for this tour. Take care of yourselves out there. And until next time, this is Jureko Invictus saying... See ya!